So when I got to work today, we went in for 5 a.m. as normal. And we noticed the truck's not there. And frankly, that's concerning because the truck is usually there the night before. Turns out the truck broke down at 2.30 in the morning. And eventually got brought to a shop that doesn't open until 8 o'clock. So we had to sit there waiting for an hour, waiting to, like, um, get, uh, somebody on the phone who, who eventually told us that because they didn't send it in the email, which they should have. They did not communicate this well at all. So after an hour, I'm like, all right, I'm going home. Later. <laughs> Because there's no reason for me to be there if not for truck. Um, so truck is getting delayed till tomorrow. I, um, I hate that. <laughs> a lot. Because that, like, low-key messes up my week a little. At least the back half of it. It's annoying. So... Going to sleep. Gonna go in a little later than you than I normally would for a truck, just so that I can stay till three o'clock. Because that's when the uh, closing manager is gonna be there. Hopefully, all goes well. Something is like telling me it won't, but we'll see. Hopefully, it does. Hello. Welcome to Thursday. So I went in for truck at 7 in the morning. Um, and was there until 3. Then Olivia asked me to come with her to Marshall's and Walmart. While we were in Marshall's, I picked something up. It's all in this bag. I got... Two new pairs of shorts. Both of which I can wear at work. Because I needed uh, shorts that are comfortable. Uh, and, you know, it's hot. <laughs> and one of the issues that I've been having with my um, my old shorts, uh, I wear them down a lot because I sweat a lot. Because it's hot. Uh, a lot of the days lately have been over 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Which is... As you can expect, pretty hot. Um, so I'm uh, just trying to, to be prepared because I have a feeling one of them is gonna have to get thrown away soon. But for now, I have these and I should be okay. But uh, it's gonna be a, a long weekend. So I'm just trying to make my life a little bit easier with like little baby steps like that. Anyway, it is news of hair, 1.30. So I'm gonna start heading to bed. So I was, I was making uh, a coffee. I have the half and half. And I go and grab the half and half. But why is this here? Why, why, why is there a, a base in the in the fridge? <laughs> what? <laughs> I went to work today and went in at three o'clock. It was not terrible. Um, honestly, I'm, uh, I was a bit tired when I got home, but the good news is that with the, um, graduation party coming up, uh, my sibling, brother-in-law, and my nephew showed up, and they're staying the night here. It's, it's late. I, I won't hold you. Um, so we, um, after I got home, it was the usual 1030, we hung out, we chatted, eventually mom and Joe went to bed, and then we kept chatting, and my brother-in-law went to bed, 
and just continue chatting and catching up because we haven't seen each other in person in quite some time. Uh, and suddenly it's like three in the morning. <laughs> so kind of need to go to bed. So I'm in bed. Tomorrow's going to be a long day. So I kind of wish I went to bed a little earlier, but, uh, it was nice spending the time, uh, like showed off my office, caught up about, uh, events involving YouTubers that we used to watch. Um, just a bunch of stuff. Uh, looking forward to seeing the family tomorrow, but definitely, uh, don't, <sighs> the ride from here to Aunt Laura's where the party is taking place is not terrible, but after that, that's going to be a lot of driving. Hopefully, hopefully I can convince him to come back to the house immediately, but, um, I, I, I mm, we'll see how the day goes. I just hope we don't have to do too, too much in the car because I'm tired and I know I'm not going to be able to sleep comfortably in, in the car, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to try to get some sleep and like I said, I'm looking forward to, to the party and seeing people. graduation party and I stepped out front for a minute to just relax a little. Um, there's a lot of people, as you'll see here in a clip in a second. Alright, now, Joe, can you just... Uh, Look at all the paparazzi! Look at all the paparazzi! Olivia, what? Oh, wait, wait, wait. 
because they both graduated. She graduated high school, and obviously you saw Jake graduated eighth grade not that long ago. Um, now, I am waiting for Amber. Uh, I spoke to her and was like, hey, I'm gonna be nearby. Do you wanna come join and meet some of my family? She was like, sure. It's gonna be a lot to take in because it's a family gathering. There's a decent amount of people, uh, but she was willing to come join, so she's going to be here any minute. So I'm just waiting out front for her, like I said, taking a, a breather. Uh, I'm excited to see her because I haven't seen her since I've been back home from the trip. So I'm, I have my bag of stuff that I got her that I'm going to give to her. So I'm going to um, hope that she's here in a minute, which she should be based on where her location was the last time she uh, shared it to me. So I'm excited to go see her. Well, her to come see me. You know what I mean. We got back from the party at like 8 or 9. Everybody started going to bed shortly after because everybody was exhausted. Mom especially. Um, but me and Andrew ended up staying up and just talking. <laughs> Mainly about game stuff and, and, like, showing off parts of my collection, like, he was especially impressed with, like, the Mother 2, uh, vinyl and the, um, the, the Game Boy cassettes that I make. And, frankly, it, it was, it was great to, to just be able to sit, relax, chat not have to really worry about anything because, like I said, everybody was exhausted and started dropping like flies. <laughs> uh, I was able to hang out a little bit with Amber, but uh, because she had work that day, she had to, um, she didn't get there until close to when we were leaving, so we didn't get to spend a ton of time, but I did get to, like, formally meet her parents as, as her boyfriend, which was nice, and give her all of the stuff that I that uh, I had gotten for her while I was in Texas. Hopefully it's not super long between visits. Hopefully I get to see her at least one more time during the summer. But we'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, but I'm, um, I'm glad that we, that we went. It was, it was nice to see everybody. Last time we saw the family was like Christmas. <laughs> So, definitely a little too long, in my opinion. Hello, welcome to Sunday. So, I had work today. While I was at work, everybody went home. Which kind of sucks, because I didn't get to say, like, a proper goodbye to them, but it's not like I'll never see them again. It might be a while, but... Eh. But... The good news is that me and Lewis sat down and we, like, kind of discussed things and have a vague idea of, of how plays is going to go in the next, like, month or so. They said that as long as nothing major comes up, they should have the rest of Pikmin done in the next couple of weeks, hopefully, um, and then can start working on, um, Paper Mario, which is the next big thing that I want coming to plays, because I 
I'm hoping to have that done sooner rather than later. Uh, but having, um, having Pikmin done and being able to focus on other things makes it easier to have, um, things constantly releasing, which is important because if I look at the analytics on plays right now, uh, things are actually going good, <laughs> which is, well, obviously it's good, but it's like unusually good because I just, I'm used to plays not doing anything, which part of that is that I haven't uploaded, but having it here going good is very welcome change. And a lot of it is thanks to Luna because they have the time to actually sit down and cut stuff up, which I do not. So I'm, I'm very appreciative of the help that they're giving. Um, but otherwise, we didn't really discuss much else beyond that. Uh, they did ask for help with a, a thing, which I did manage to help them, but Overall, there wasn't really much change between the months, so... Yeah. <laughs> but for now, things are gonna keep going as they're going, and hopefully this gets out to you relatively soon. I know these next few weeks are gonna be really busy for me with my day job, because uh, we're getting our inventory checked, because they still make us do that. So, that's coming up, and that's gonna be a headache. So I'm gonna be busy. So hopefully this gets out to you on time. I got a thing and I ordered this back in like January and kind of lost hope in it ever showing up because the thing, the company running it, making it, making it, the company making it just kind of disappeared. <laughs> this is the MIG switch. And what this is, is a special switch cartridge that you put an SD card into and you can dump your cartridges onto it. As you know, I have a lot of, a lot of video games, so I'm going to try to dump a couple of them. And to do so, I bought this. It didn't need to be the Nintendo branded one, but I figured that that one would be um, a good one to use. One, because it's funny. Two, because Nintendo wouldn't sell it, and, and SanDisk wouldn't sell it if it was bad. Well, they might, but they would get sued. Anyway, I'm gonna open this up, put it in the thing, make sure everything is working well, and then I'm gonna dump a couple of my games. Okay, so you can see that I took the um, Paper Mario cartridge out of my Switch, and now that I have everything put on here that I want it on here, I just need to not drop my phone, but I just pop this in, and you can see Chris Tales. Pop it out, pop it back in, Xenoblade 2, pop it out and in, Xenoblade 3, out and in, Animal Crossing, out and in, Bayonetta 2, out and in, and we're back to Chris Tales. It's a neat little doohickey. Um, it does take some setting up, but it is nice to have. And I will show you to prove I have all of those physically. Here is Bayonetta 2 and Animal Crossing and Chris Dales and what are the other games? Xenoblade? Xenoblade 2 and 3. So the only thing is that I can't put updates on here, but that's fine. If my if I only have to download updates and everything else I can get physically and have it all on the one thing, that's that's great. Because that uh, it's easier to replace one $65 thing as opposed to a bunch of different games at varying prices. Could easily add up to more than that if something were to happen to it. So I'm glad that I have it, and I'm glad that I uh, took the time to set it up. For now, though, I am going to um, set it to Xenoblade 3 just because uh, that's the game I'm gonna need next. Probably. So when I said I needed Xenoblade 3 next, I was wrong. I needed Paper Mario, but that's fine. 
Um, but the um, speaking of Paper Mario, well, we did a stream today, and I went to the Pit of One Hundred Trials for the first time. Obviously, there's a hundred floors, but uh, I only went to floor fifty because really that's the best I could do right now in my current level. But now that I've finished chapter three, uh, I might go there for level grinding because you can get decent from those fuzzies, but I feel like uh, it'd be better to get from the pit because better rewards, more money, and uh, item drops. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna do my level grinding there and hopefully that goes good. Um, I'm enjoying the game. I am beginning to worry about whether or not we'll finish in time, but we'll see. But for now, it's the end of the week. I would like to thank you all for watching. Hope you had yourself a damn good one, and I'll see you next week.